The real estate market has been red hot forever, it seems like, except for that little blip during the pandemic. What is going to happen this year in 2022? That is what we're going to talk about in the video today. If you're interested in real estate at all, if you're involved in real estate or if you want to get involved in real estate, then this is the show for you. Let's go. What's up, you guys? Real estate is my game. And if you like these real estate episodes, let me know and I'll make more of them. But I love talking about real estate and real estate. You guys, at the end of the day, is all about two things, supply and demand you've seen any of my shows, you know that that is fundamentally what real estate is all about. There's lots of other things we could talk about, but we got to know what's going on with supply and demand if we're going to be able to predict what's going to happen with real estate. And it's going to help you make an informed decision about whether to buy a home, whether to sell a home, whether to invest in real estate and everything in between. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at those two factors right now. Let's start with supply, you guys. Supply has been at its lowest levels for a really long time. And in fact, that is a lot of what is driving the real estate market. If you go to buy a home, there's just nothing on the market. I can give you a personal example. When we were moving to Texas last year now, this is going to be our first full year here in Dallas. But when we were moving last year, there was just nothing on the market. I mean, we had one home, two homes, maybe three homes to pick from. It was really frustrating. And what that does, by the way, when there's very limited supply is it drives demand way up. Because what happens is if you have two buyers, only one house, now you get a bidding war and all of that other stuff. So supply is extremely low. The other thing that's driving supply is people used to move every three to five years. And so there was more turnover. Recent statistics tell us that people are actually staying in their homes a lot longer, more like seven to 10 years. That's right, folks. It's a long time to stay in your home. And so because of that, if you think about it, half as many people are moving at any given time. That is also causing supply to be very low. Let's switch gears and talk about demand. So millennials, which account for a very large group of the population right now, are in the market for homes. They're buying homes, they're wanting to buy homes, they're moving out of mom and dad's home, and they're buying their own properties. They're getting jobs and things like that. And so that is driving demand up for houses. The other thing I want to talk about is interest rates. Interest rates drive demand. When interest rates are lower, people can afford more more house, people can buy homes and all of those other things. When credit is loose, when the banks are loaning out money, that drives demand higher. And that is exactly what's going on right now. Now, of course, as we've mentioned on the show earlier, the Federal Reserve has said that in 2022, they will begin raising the federal funds rate, not the mortgage rate. I want to make sure we're clear that those are two different different things. But because they're going to start raising the federal funds rate, mortgage rates and interest rates will rise. So interest rates will be a little bit higher. Now, guys, I want to put this historically in perspective. Interest rates are extremely low right now. Even if they go up by a percent or two, historically speaking, that is still very, very low. So not to worry. But there are, of course, a lot of people that want to take advantage of these low rates. And at the end of this episode, I'm going to share with you what you should do. We're going to pull out the crystal ball. And we're going to talk about it. But for now, I want you to know that supply is low. Demand is high. That creates a seller's market in real estate. It also creates upward pressure on prices. So that is what you need to know about supply and demand. Get this, you guys. Zillow predicts that this year real estate will go up by a whopping 14%. That is a really big increase. Now, Zillow also talked about their top 10 housing markets for 2022. You guys are going to find this very, very interesting. Let's go through the list. Tampa, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, Raleigh, North Carolina, San Antonio, Texas, Charlotte, North Carolina, Nashville, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, and Phoenix, Arizona. Do you guys notice a theme with those markets? If you guessed most of them are in red states, you would be right, folks. And the reason for that, you guys, as we've been talking about here on the show for a long time, and that is that there is a mass exodus happening out of places like California, like New York, that have become unaffordable, that have become crime infested, and that politically and socially, people just don't want to be there. Hey. 
I'm an example of that. As you know, I left California and came to Texas. So when you look at some of these hot housing markets, there are a couple things in common. Number one, they are in business friendly places. These are places where businesses are going. And so people want to go to live there. They're also in places that are more affordable than some of their other counterparts. And so these housing markets are slated to grow a lot in 2022. If you have investment property in one of those places, you're in luck. All right, guys, so that leads me to the hot questions. Should you buy now? Should you sell now? And what should you do with real estate? So let's talk about buying. If you're in the market for a home, the key question for you really is what is the purpose of your purchase and what is your time horizon? So let's think about this, you guys, if you're buying a property that you want to live in for a very long time, maybe it's your principal residence or something like that, then if you think about it, what you can do is you can lock in a very low interest rate at a 30 year loan and you can keep that low interest and low mortgage payment for a really long time. So I would say get in as fast as you can. Don't chase the real estate market. A lot of people think, well, you know, what if I wait and the market crashes? Well, look guys, if the market comes down a little bit, but interest rates go up, that's gonna eat up a lot of that anyway. And as they say, the best time to buy real estate was 30 years ago, the second best time is today. So I recommend get in there and get a property as quickly as you can start getting uh, taking advantage of those low interest rates. Now, what about if you have a property to sell? Well, guys, right now we are in the beginning of the year. And if you look historically at the trends, the best time to sell a home is right before summer leading into summer. That is because people are moving around with schools and other things. And so there's a lot of buyers out and there's also though a lot of sellers out. So what I typically recommend is if you're thinking about selling your home right now, and we're in January here, of course, this video you could be watching anytime or listening to the episode anytime. But if we're in January and you're thinking of selling at some point, you know, I would say as we lead up into summer, that is a great time to consider putting your home on the market. But really, you guys, anytime this year, it seems like demand is going to stay very strong. So at any point when you're ready to go, when you're ready to sell your home, you should be fine and you should attract a lot of buyers. Now, one thing I want to say about real estate. One of the most important things with real estate is who you work with. A lot of people think that all real estate agents are the same. And the reality is that they are simply not. There are such low barriers to entry to become a real estate agent that it makes sense that there are very many agents that are not so good. And there are also a lot of agents that are very good. When you go to buy or sell your home, the agent that you hire could literally transform your purchase or your sale and make a huge difference financially for you. I'm talking in the tens of thousands or even in the hundreds of thousands of dollars in that transaction. It's a big transaction and how your agent handles it really makes a difference. So make sure you interview your agent. If you want a referral anywhere in the United States, we have real estate teams that discover properties in California and now in Texas, but I can refer you to a great agent anywhere. So let me know and I'd be happy to help. The same goes for your mortgage broker and really every professional that you're working with on your home or perch home purchase or sale. Let's also quickly touch on investment properties. Is now a good time to invest in real estate? Again, the answer is yes. And the reason why is twofold. Interest rates are low, you can lock in a great rate. And two, the rental market is just as hot as the real estate purchase and sale market. So if you wanna buy a rental, it's a great time to do that. If you wanna get into flipping homes or investing in real estate, that's also not a bad thing. So anyway, you slice it guys, being in the real estate business right now is a great thing. Being involved in the real estate market is a great thing as well. So whatever it is you wanna do in real estate, 2022 should be a really great year to do it. Thanks for tuning in you guys and I'll catch you on the next episode of The Dima Show.